Hey everyone, you are watching Technology Belf here. In this tutorial, I will show you everything step by step with real demonstrations how to downgrade iOS, either it is unsigned or signed IPS tablet. Easily how would I downgrade? If you would like to add window, yes, downward of your iOS, by mistakenly or deliberately you have updated with the latest beta version or latest iOS. Now you would like to switch back for by passing of the iCloud activation or unlocking of your iPhone set by sure for any purpose. How do you do that? We will see live here. With real demonstration, don't escape a hair guys. Firstly we will check it out manually. So let's tap on a setting. So what we will have to tap on setting. Let's see tap setting. Setting to of course we will have to tap on a general here yeah, this feature is a general so tap on it now of course we will come in a software update and it has a started to check it out can I add downgrade no 26.2 iOS is working if we go in details so that we can see that we don't have a further any opportunity manually to downgrade it so what we will do here just simply we will go for automatically off and when we will click to off automatically then automatically download that we will off automatically install we will off and then once again yeah see we will back it and once again we will tap on so it's not saying so it's saying so that up to date so what we will do guys here we'll go for an administration that is a 3u tool connect to your as physical device with the help of data cable and upon of course we will tap on especially a smart flash a smart flash to of course try to have a especially the refresh option so here is a three opportunity one is a either we can import and of course directly any firmware and there is one option and that is here beta version that you have updated to six point uh, especially two beta three or beta two or beta of course twenty six point two beta one and of course you can switch back on a here that is a one opportunity 26.1 beta so directly we can import it and here by clicking or we can download it also but if you would like to go on a unsigned IPS to on with a especially uh, importing option so how do I do that here what we will do guys here first and foremost we will come in a toolbox toolbox to of course right now we will click on here and send description file to other device of course we will go for here and thereupon do it okay and the of course now it's a change finds uh, we will go for okay and thereupon what we will do guys here now yes we will click on a especially a smart flash option we will come on a here is option firmware just to tap on it and the upon of course here we will see that uh, Yes, we will have an opportunity to have firmware here. Yeah, that is especially now that we can see. One is a click on a refresh so that we will get a fresh data. And upon now here is a 18.6 hours that we can download. We can go for import directly after downloading 18.6 to beta. And so just we would like to become the 18.6 hours. So let's say start to a download and it has started to download and here it has started to a download and after downloading here we will go in a especially uh, I would like to show you further it's uh, taking a little bit time half an hour here to complete so what we will do now then we will come in a easy flash easy plus to of course we will select it how die and this one here after downloading especially this will come in a firmware option so let it complete when it will be downloaded then directly we will open the folder of especially by tapping on firmware and upon we will prefer to import it directly here suppose these ones I kept one actually suppose here I would like to come especially with the uh, here 13 no 10.3 iOS is facially in a 16 point something so it be imports now see directly it has imported not verification not anything simply we will go for quick flash and we will go for 
hit this one when we will click to a hit then here don't have to select that fixed battery held during the flash and when we when we will hit and then it will start with that so i don't want to come be this fiercely uh, 16 iOS I would like to come with this easily here 18 iOS so it's a downloading after downloading of course simply by a simple strategy we will have to do that if you don't want to lose your data then we will come with the retain user data and upon of course we had already selected once again here is retaining data all the apps and application that you would like to come with continue then of course uh, we will select the retain user data all the data would be retained either it is apps and application or any file and the folder or any especially cloud data files on the other hand of course if you would like to lose off and then we will select quick flash mode so retain user data just we will click on a flash and here don't select the fixed battery and we will hit this one so when we will hit then of course directly we won't be able to uh, lose any data so this is all about in this video tutorial guys right now it will take a little bit times to as we slime in here so thank you and for the main inquiry of course i have the query below the comment box thank you for staying there till the end of this tutorials hi this is technology welfare and i will be back with a step by step with new tutorial so don't forget to like subscribe and share this content because it really supports the channel guys so thank you thank you very much indeed